a little bit about ePlan again. ePlan here in conjunction with Rittel. Here, Rittel, they are the specialists in these special enclosures, baying systems like the TS-8. And of course, what's interesting about these systems here is that they come in various shapes and sizes, you can see. And on top, you have a lot of accessories, sidewalls, front doors, inside, you can add all kinds of accessories. Now, when you use one of these inside ePlan, this is how it looks like. You have your basic frame, door, mounting panel. It comes by default. And then you can add some accessories by just going here, insert accessories. And of course, the idea is to pick one of these accessories that you wish to use, and you can use more than one and just dump it down at the bottom. In some cases, you can see what this accessory is and you do have the accessories. Where does it come from? So my trick here is to just start a separate ePlan and inside here, I can see uh, the panel itself that we talked about, this panel here, let's just take a look very quickly at the, um, the part number. This is the part number that I've been using and switching over to here, I'm just gonna filter down and see how this starts with the accessories. So it all starts at the beginning here at the panel itself with an accessory list. So these accessories or these accessory lists that we see here, um, of course, they can only be used if you know what they are. So the interesting thing in ePlan is that you can import something like a CSV file. So I'm gonna open one of these files here and I'm gonna show you, it's a very simple file I have. And what I'm doing here is I'm just adding the parts right in here. So I just have to copy and paste. So here, for instance, the TS-8 wall, that was one example, okay? So let me just cancel. So here this TS-8 wall or uh, this one or this one. So these are all actually items that if you're interested in those, you can just take them, copy them, like this and add them to your list here, okay? And I'll sh show you what I can do with that list here after. So interesting is of course, if you get a couple of these types of accessories that you're interested in and you just add them up. Some of these accessories are actually, it's an accessory list. So technically behind this accessory list is also a, um, a part number or a series of part numbers. And you can find these here. If I go and I do the same filter again, like just here as an example, okay, you will see this is and can be an accessory list. Now, this accessory list you see here comes with a series of parts. Now, a lot of these parts, I personally at the moment don't know, so I can just dump them here. And if we actually look a little bit deeper into the accessory list here, you can see a lot of these accessories, and here you can see them, the FBs, the doors, etc. They all have a certain number of parts. So here, if I take all of these doors, and I'm interested in all of them, I can just dump them here, copy and paste. I'm using the Control-C, Control-V. Now, in this particular case, I know that I have a uh, 800 and a 600. This is the size of my, my, um, my panel. So I'm interested in every single accessory here that somewhat has 800 by somewhat here. Okay, so I'm going down. Uh, these are FBs, so this is not a non-related. Uh, the handles, uh, let's see what kind of handles we have. See a couple of these handles I know, you can see by the description. The ones I don't know, I can just dump them here and they will be part of the list that I just add. Hinges, here you can see I know most of these hinges but not all of them because I may have never seen it before. I'm just adding it here. So here now, the mounting rails. I'm gonna pick the uh, 2000, that's one that I'm interested in. I'm just gonna copy uh, this one there, boom, a uh, few. Whoops, sorry, I was a little bit too quick. So here, Control C, move over, Control V. I'll take this one here, Control C, Control V. And I'm just picking the parts that I'm interested in so here you can see we have a couple of these that I want. A couple of more here, just copy and paste. Whoops, copy and paste, and there we go. So of course you, you, you get the picture, right? So here, what is a mounting TS, uh, those ones, and bingo, you go. So once this is done, in this Excel sheet here, 
I have a few columns that I just re, uh, repeated. One of them is the accessory. I just wanted to have a reference value. And the quantity, of course, just dump it here to one. So by doing this is basically I'm creating an Excel sheet that contains all the data that I wish to use, so all the accessories that potentially could be used. And I will be simply importing it into my ePlan using the import feature here. Extra, import, pick that book CSV3, and it imports. How do I know which ones have been imported? Fairly easy. All I have to do here is go and type in accessories because I created the accessory description here. And you can see here they are. So you can look at them in the list view and some of them actually have no descriptions. And these are the ones that are brand new. So these are the things that I have not used before. And I can now with the Data Portal Professional just say here, update via Data Portal Professional. And out of these 77 parts, you can see that 73 of them, so maybe I made some mistakes in copying and pasting, will be imported. And after I've imported them, well, I'm that much smarter in terms of accessories, and I can start placing the accessories the way you know by just picking out of the list in the top. So that was basically how, in a smart way, using two separate ePlans, based on what was prepared from Retail in terms of accessories, which you may or may not have, how you can quickly make these a smarter list of accessories. So this was my video for today.